Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to um, your card, the prediction trick you saw yesterday. It does involve a few things. You're going to have a red card in an envelope or whatever. Um, it doesn't matter what the face of this card is, you're never going to see the face of this card. But you're going to write your card on it. And then you're going to write your card on another card. But try and get them to look the same. And one of the guys in the comments noticed it didn't look exactly the same. But get it to look as the same as you can. Um, I'm not going to use a different card, but this card wants to not be written on. So forget that um, GA there on that bit. So this one, it doesn't matter what this is. Go in the envelope. You are also going to need a bottom of the box gaff on this one. Work with the top of the box, but I'm using a bottom of a box because this was a gift. I can't remember your name, dude. I do apologise, but you'll know. You'll give me a comment, I'm sure. So you're going to have your bottom of the box gaff on the top of the deck, followed by your red card with your card written on it, with two blue cards on top of that. This will all go into the box. And we're ready to begin. All right, you're going to show them that you've got an envelope here. And this envelope's got a card in it. So it's your card on it, but it's from a different deck. Place that aside. Take the cards out. Now I'm dumping the cards out quickly so I don't flash that red card. I'm going to close up the box and I'm going to place it on a slight angle like this because this is perfect for me to deposit the cards in a minute. So that will stay there. Don't do that. You can give the cards a bit of a fake cut. And all I did was a fake cut. This is the top of the deck because I want to force that card in a minute. So I'm going to square everything up, catch a break and then get them to just call out stop when they like as I riffle down the side. I'm just pulling up at that break at the back. This is the top of the deck where you've got your three cards. Now because you've got this thick hard card here, it is very easy to catch those three and turn those over as a triple lift as a single card. Because what happens is when you run up the side, you will naturally break at those three cards. Nice and easy. You don't even have to try and do it. It just does it. So you're going to show them the four of spades. You'll get them to sign the four of spades. You need to hold the deck. Then you're going to turn this triple over again. Take what they think is their signed card. This is just a completely indifferent card and place it somewhere in the middle of the pack. So what you've got now, you've got a cover card on top of their signed card. You'll go back to this your card. Now you can change the presentation of this however you want, but this is just how I did it. I'm going to put their card on top and say this is your card and I'm going to turn over that triple lift again. So the your card, and it is in fact your card because you've signed it, but this can't be your card because your card is in the middle. All you're going to do is a wrist kill because you've got a face up card here. Wrist kill this, place this on top of the box, show them this card and it is your card because it says it on the back your card now if you think there's another red card in here what's happened is the top of the bottom of the box gaff has stolen those the indifferent card the card that was in the envelope that will be hidden under the box and now you can get them to go through these cards to look for the other red back card now there is no other red back card because that is it there because the bottom of the box is quite, um, it's a quite a good gaff because you've got this sticker on there. It does look like the bottom of the box. So we'll just run through that again quickly. You've got a your card in an envelope. You have the bottom of the box gaff here. You then have your other red card here with two blue cards on top of cover give it a fake cut you're going to get a break catch a thumb break pinky break just go down the side and wherever they call out stop you're obviously just going to pull up at the break turn over a triple lift get them to sign this card turn the triple back over place the sign card somewhere in the middle um, now go back to your card in the envelope Place it on top, do another triple lift, show them that it is in fact their card. You're going to do a wrist kill while placing this on top of the box. Show them their impossible signed card, and it is their card because it says it on the back. And if you'd like to go through these cards to find another red card, 
be my guest because it is hiding right here so that is how i did it guys like somebody said in the comments just make sure that these two look the same so comment subscribe like guys and come back tomorrow for another card trick cheers